if people call and they're upset, you go take them down. And you realize you may not be able to use this in your municipality. I just want to bring it up because it works and it's fast. It works and it's fast. Here's what's going to determine the effectiveness, though. Um, the size of the sign, the design, the phone number. There's going to be a huge difference if you have an easy to remember phone number in your response rates. You'll literally go from 10 phone calls when you put out, say, let's say you put out uh, 100 signs and you get 10 phone calls. If you have an easy to remember phone number, you could increase your response rates to literally 20 phone calls very easily just by having an easy to remember phone number when you use this, right? So the competition, the placement, all of these things are going to go into um, your response rates. So some people will say, oh, this works awesome. You'll be sitting down, you know, discussing marketing strategies a little bit later today with your group. And you'll say, I, I, you know, I tried signs, and someone said, you know, it didn't work. Another person said, man, it's working great for me. I'm getting literally 25, 30 phone calls every single month from signs. So it can be very, very quick. Your cost per lead from signs is going to be very low. Typically, it's going to be anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks a lead. That's good. If you were to gauge you know, how your marketing is, if you can be less than $50 a lead, that's pretty good. Because on average, it's going to take you about 25 leads to get one good deal. So if we're averaging you know, from this particular campaign from January to March that we tracked, it was $15 a lead. You can see you know, we got 54 leads this month, 59 leads, 51 leads. We bought four properties from this. So the cost per deal that we were spending with signs was about 625 bucks in signs to equal one property to buy. We realized that our average profit margins hover somewhere around 17 grand a wholesale deal. If we're doing a rehab deal, obviously we're looking to make more money. We're going to be somewhere around an average of 35 grand. Out here in California, we typically don't want to do a rehab unless we're making more than 50, 55 grand. So it has to be profitable enough depending on your area. If you're working in Ohio, your profit margins are not necessarily going to be that big. You might be working with an average profit per deal on a wholesale deal of six, seven, eight grand. On a rehab, you might be making an average of 20. It just depends on the market that you're working in, right? Out here, it's going to take a little bit more capital if you're buying and holding properties or if you're buying, fixing, and selling properties. The markets do vary. What doesn't vary, though, is these marketing expenses are going to be relatively similar, right? Uh, here's how we get these signs out there, though, and I'm going to point these things out. Uh, what you want to do is you want to, if you were to execute this and you said, I want to implement this when I get home, this is an idea that you haven't tested yet. What you do, the first thing you do is you order your signs, obviously. Second thing, though, that you should do is pull up Google. You can use Google. It's the easiest way. It's free. And start to divide your area up into different sections. You'll know which areas have busier streets and which ones don't. What I want you to do is just create a little route map. So divide your area up into anywhere from four to eight different sections. Say, these are the sub pockets of the market that I want to invest in. I'm going to have signs placed on the busiest streets in this area. You highlight them of where these streets are going to be and where the sign should go, on what street corner. You, make, you, you basically put together a couple different maps. It should have 20 to, to 30 signs placed in, in a couple of a couple hours. You can have somebody that's going out there at eight, 10 bucks an hour distributing these signs for you for a very cheap price. Uh, I mean, you could eight to 10 bucks an hour. And they can put out, generally it depends on how spread out you are and how rural or uh, you know, depending on how many people live in your area, they can put out somewhere around 10 signs an hour. It's pretty much what you should figure. So if you want to have them place 40 signs, it's gonna take you about four hours worth of work. And what you can do is you just number those areas and you test different areas. And what you do is have that person pick those signs up once a week and go and distribute them. And then they come back before they get paid. Obviously, they give you a list of all their pictures. It's real simple. This isn't rocket science to get somebody to do it for you. Now, if you have a real low budget, what's one of the best ways to get people to do this possibly for free? What'd you say? Cut? What'd you, I, I didn't understand that. Interns. Interns, write this down. Uh, certain colleges give away college credit for people to work in a business. Do you guys have a business? Yes. Yeah. So guess what? You could have an intern. Uh, we figured this little, this little idea, we thought it was like a loophole. In fact, where's Joe? Everyone say hi to Joe. Hi, Joe. Joe's one of our first interns that used to work for us, right? Joe went to Quinnipiac University. 
And at Quinnipiac University, if you go to Quinnipiac, you can actually uh, get a college credit if you're a certain type of major for working in a business. When I found out about this, I go, man, this is like a loophole. We're going to have like five or six people working for us. So our very first summer, what do we do? We had five or six people working right out of the house. We had a guy underneath the stairs. I still don't remember his name. I still don't remember what he was doing either. But we literally had a little desk for him right underneath the stairs. <laughs> uh, it was, it was, uh, Joe was one of our first interns. Started working with us. Uh, realize, just be creative. Uh, what you want to do is find the Career Services Center. So if you want an assistant for free, there are colleges, not every college, but there are universities that give away college credit to people that work in a business 15 hours a week. 